93.5 FM Pirate Radio, playing the music you like to hear. Buddy Holly, Richie Valens right there, crying, waiting, hoping. Yes, uh, Pipeline from the Chantays had some Roberta Flack and Firefall all in that set. It is 817 right now. Time check brought to you by Fort Collins Nursery, keeping yards and homes green since 1932. And we're stopping because Bill Lampiers is here, and he is the... Uh, owner, operator, chief cook, and bottle washer of uh, Tail Spinner Lounge, which is sort of a movable thing. And uh, we've moved them over to uh, the Elks Lodge here in Fort Collins. And it's going to be a, a really fun show on April 22nd. We've been running the, the c- sponsor ads for them. And uh, welcome, Bill. Well, thank you very much. Oh, glad to have you here. And uh, we're going to talk about this. We'll, we'll first talk about you. Amber's still here. I so, am. Amber, feel free to jump in if you have a question, because you're just sort of learning about Bill and, and his story. And if you don't know about the Tail Spinner Lounge, Bill's going to tell us all about himself and it and how we can go and get tickets and stuff. And then I'll have some freebie tickets to give away, because he's kind enough to give us a pair to give away right after the interview so all right bill tell us about you okay i came to fort collins from chicago in uh, 1970 and taught here for uh, 30 years okay and then became the one year only principal at centennial high school and completed that job in 2003 okay wrote a book about it uh went off to arizona because someone read the book there and i replicated the school for them and i spent 10 years in arizona nice um and I was at a, uh, uh, I became a uh, author then, and uh, now I've published uh, 20 novels. Wow. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so just a little bit of writing. Well, I, it, they're all fiction, so I, I get paid to tell lies. I just did, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> it's not something that actually happened to you. So um, I went to a high school reunion back in Oak Park, Illinois, and, and uh, uh, that's, uh, that's the school where Ernest Hemingway graduated from. And <coughs> we both have two things in common. He, we're both of us are writers, and uh, he was more famous than me. Oh, maybe and just a little. Yeah. Like a whole luggage thing full of your writing. Like <laughs> no, you no, 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 no. Well, we I, just learned I, about no. that this morning. <laughs> no, and then and then the second thing is that both of us got D's in English oh, from the no. same teacher. Oh, that's very funny. Oh, although fifty years apart. For sure. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so I, I was in the, at my high school reunion. Walked into a room with didn't know anybody. And everyone looked at me and said, you're the author, right? And I went, yeah. Because every time I publish the book, they put the cover on, my, on their website and my picture. Oh. So they, for the next four days, I heard some terrible, terrible personal stories. Um, <laughs> and uh, I w- was a very good listener, so I would ask good questions. And um, they would buy me drinks of glasses of wine and so on. And sure. It was nice. But on my way back home to uh, Colorado I drove and 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 uh, um, I said you know everyone has a story to tell but not every story is worth a book right yeah. so as I crossed over into Nebraska I turned the radio on and there was a song playing that on the radio that ru- that's complimented the last story aired ah. I went, what what if I what if I were able to put storytellers on stage and put musicians behind them, and then put artists at the base of the stage, and let them sketch what's happening on stage. Isn't and that have a cool a, idea? Oh, we have a multiple, cool. a visual, emotional, uh, audio kind of a, a show to see. I love that. And so I came back to Fort Collins, and very serendipitously um, found people who wanted to do this for me. Nice. And I said, I'll pay you. <laughs> and then we started Avogadro's Number, and we went to a lot of different venues around the area looking for the perfect place to be. And in 2017, we started our first show, sold out three weeks in advance. Nice. Um, and continued through 2017 through 2020 when, when the, the pause, pause. <laughs> shut us down. <laughs> And um, yeah. uh, I went away, I left the country and came back, and people said, when are you going to start the Tailspin Lounge again? And here we're back. Yes. <laughs> and so n- now we've moved our venue to the uh, Elks Lodge, and mm-hmm. uh, they've given me a great deal there. They've got a- enough space for 220 people. Uh, they have tickets for sale at the door. They have tickets for sale with their members. Um, I have tickets. You go online. 
uh, and it's www.thetailspinnerlounge.com. It's T A L E, not T A I L. That's a whole different show. As in yeah. tall tales yeah. or yeah. tail. Fairy tales. <laughs> and um, they're only $15 a piece. And here's what I do because I'm so grateful for being a teacher and a public servant and, peop- and selling my books here in Fort Collins. For every $15 ticket that we sell, I donate $5 toward a local charity. Like last month, it was the Habitat for Humanity. Nice. Yeah, and then good. scholarship. And this month, it'll be for scholarships for the Elks. So Beautiful. I would urge you all to come and see this. This is an amazing, visual, emotional evening of joy. Yeah, it's going to be on April 22nd over at the Elks Lodge right here and just off of Mulberry. You know, you probably drive by it all the time. <laughs> it's right there. Plenty of room for everybody. They'll have snacks and drinks available for sale. And um, just, yeah, $15 tickets. I can't believe you do that for so so little a price for what a great thing. I, I'm so looking forward to going over there. Well, I'm so and glad I'm independently that. wealthy. I can do Well, so. yeah, <laughs> see, there's that. Lucky you. So Lucky we're all you. hoping to be. You give us our secret, your secret, and then we'll do that. <laughs> Well, we'll you can give it to us. We don't have to share it with everyone. Right, exactly. You tell us after <laughs> we're off, off line, the air. Off line, yeah, yeah <laughs> when we're off the air. Uh-huh. I'll put all that information up on our Facebook page. That way people can just click right through. And um, anything else that we missed that you want to tell people about well, the Tailspin uh, we, Lounge? Well, we have, yes, we, I've, I've changed the format a bit so that I, I select a featured performer group for each show. Oh, okay. And, you know, I've had Wendy Wu up on stage. I've had, I've had Ian and Ren up on stage. I've had... I've had um, a, s- a variety of others, but this time it's Bruce Cook and his band. And Bruce Cook was here uh, a, a few weeks ago uh, online, yeah. uh, on air with you folks. And uh, he owns the Mercantile uh, uh, store up in uh, Masonville. And he has a, a tremendous band, great sound. Um, and so he and uh, several other local, local musicians, a local artist... And local storytellers will be on stage. And the, the key thing to this whole show is that, you know, stories right. touch your heart, mm-hmm. repair your mind, and remind you of things from your past sure. that you save as history and personalize. Um, then the art just Touch, touches your heart. Sure. Re, re, repairs your soul and gives you a visual that you can take with you. I think that's awesome. I can't wait. And that local musicians. So amazing. They are, we, we have around, we have a theme. The theme for the show is Spring Fling. Uh, and they will all tell stories and, and sing songs related to that theme. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Again, it's April 22nd. Show starts at 7. Yep. All right, so show up around 6.30 or so, get you a good right. seat. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I have in my hot little hand two Tail Spinner Lounge complimentary tickets for you, thanks to Bill. And if you would like to win those, uh, we're going to end the interview now. and we're gonna, So you can call right now, 970-306-6935. First caller gets them, and you'll be able to go to the show with us. It'll be a lot of fun. 306-6935 is the phone number. Thanks, Bill. We look forward to seeing you on the 22nd. We'll see you again next week to encourage more people to come yeah, by. Absolute pleasure. All right. Give us your best ARG. ARG. Perfect. <laughs>